Flooding is the result of overflow from the hydroelectric power generation dams upstream. Is there any truth? Yes, very true. Um, the, first, uh, the first wave of floods did not have a really very, very serious impact on the people. The, the second wave came out of the opening of those dams, the two. Uh, that's when now we had serious... So uh, the dams got full up, uh, what, what, seven, yeah. seven folks and, and yes. the others are up yes. there? Yes, yes, you yes. Have, you've, you've spoken to those who run those, the management and they've confirmed or it's your... But they, they, say they, they told us, it was announced, okay. that we are going to open this dam here when we were in Kakamega. And so they, they opened the first one and then the, the other one. So that's when now we had serious impacts. So this brought in a seven, say second wave yes, of flooding. Yes, a second wave of flooding. Um, now resulting to the, 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 the kind of uh, damages that we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. um, so it is that sum total of the rain plus the flooding plus the opening of the dams that brought in um, the, the situation that we're in today. So are you holding anyone responsible, especially for the second wave for that? Um, are you going to seek compensation for, for your people? Let because me tell you the problem with uh, uh, Kenjin. Of course it's Kenjin. Yes. Um, we know the purpose of the dams is to be able to generate power and for whatever. But uh, for some time now, we had lost floods completely in Tana because much of the waters were contained upstream. And so the river and environment uh, um, suffered greatly. The f if you go, if you, I think your people went there and I, I, do, I, th I think they, they, they might have read that some of the, the indigenous trees, some of crops like mangoes and many other crops were actually dying off across the county mm -hmm. from north to south. Mm -hmm. um, most of the Oxbow Lakes dried up many years ago. A good example is uh, uh, one one Malai in 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 my mm. in Lenda in my in in my in Tana River sub county, mm. and the other one is uh, Shakababo in Tarasa. And that's why that's why you uh, say you Tarasa, feel which mm -hmm. had never had never for some for seventeen years had any drop of 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 water in that lake. Um, so the floods, for to some extent, for what you're saying, yes, are yes. a blessing. Obviously, obviously, 100%. But we know that people have lost floods, their yes, lives. Yes, yes. Which they is have, why I want to take you back to the yes, question yes, I was asking, which yes. is why don't you then seek compensation from your people from Kenjin? Uh, I don't want to come to there now. You don't? Uh, want to no, I don't oh. want to come to there now. But it is the question, Governor. Yeah. And but, it's but, only but, then, but then uh, but the point here I'm driving at is when they are holding the waters, yes. we don't see Kenjin coming in to bring relief supplies. When there are floods, even today, there's no Kenjin who has come in to say, uh, sorry for this, yes. let us do that. Yes. Um, they're still going on with their programs. Which is worrying. As though, as though nothing has happened. Yes.